What's up, everybody? You are watching my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. I'm your host, Diogen Z, and we are now in Azalea Town. That's right. In the last episode, we conquered Union Cave, and in this episode, we've got some stuff to do, I'm sure. Sorry about the delay in between the videos, guys, but uh, things are getting pretty hectic here at the DGZ household. Making lots of food for when family comes over during this weekend, because that's when we're having our big Waleep thing. So, uh, yeah, let's check this place out. So far, looks pretty bro uh, barricaded. Barricaded, blocked up by Team Rocket. And I heard somewhere that this was the town of Slowpoke, but I haven't seen one yet. I mean, we did pass by Slowpoke's well, but that too was blocked off by a Team Rocket member. So one can only wonder. Hmm. And apparently the Charcoal Man has the power to cut. You'd think that a Charcoal Man would have some grill powers, not cutting powers. It's kind of odd, but hey, I guess you gotta cut the beef and whatnot. Whatever you want to put on the grill. Get our white apricorn, apricorn, and head into here, where we could actually use these apricorns. Hmm, who are you, Diogen Z, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. What? Do you know Team Rocket? Uh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. Like what, scrubbing the toilets? They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke's tails. For sale! So I'm going to go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Yeah, well, we're going to make you even lonelier because we will leave you behind again. Okay, so... That old crotchety man has run off to the well and uh, somehow gotten that Team Rocket guy out of the way. How'd you do it, Kurt? How'd you do it? Hey there, Diogen Z. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him. Told him I was going to give him a lesson in pain. And uh, I tumbled down the well myself. Slammed pretty hard on my back. So now I can't move. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're lucky you're not paralyzed for good. Or are you? Hmm. We will have to find out. Stay tuned to see if Kurt is fully paralyzed. Team Rocket. Darn, I was standing at top of the guard. I was standing at the standing guard at top of the well when some old dude yelled at me. Telling me about lessons in pain. And he was racking my brain. So I left. Yeah, some good guard you are. Can't even ward off old men? Really? That's uh, that's the best Team Rocket has to do, has to offer, is you grunt. Can't even uh, fend off the elderly. Oh well, too bad. Note about this place, because uh, I always like to go back to the past. Note about this, I thought that this place was despicable back in the day. If anybody uh, watched Bugs Bunny, you'd get that reference. But uh, absolutely despicable, the thought of cutting off Slowpoke's tails. I couldn't fathom it. I was like, what? They eat the tails? I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. I slowpoke licorice? I couldn't imagine. I, I don't even know. I don't want to imagine. No. Ugh. I'll never look at slowpoke the same way again. That pretty much changed my opinion, or just put an opinion in my head, because I don't think I really had one about slowpoke from the beginning. The fact that uh, all their tails were lopped off. And then, if you look at the uh, slow slowpoke sprite on the right side of the border, you can see that there's no indication of a tail. When I saw those things standing around, I thought that their tails were all gone. I'm like, oh no, I'm too late. And this person right here, that red thing, that pink thing coming out of the back of her hat. Yeah, that's right. It's a hat, even though she's not wearing one now. Uh, that, I originally thought, was one of the slowpoke's tails. And they were carrying it off to somewhere deeper in the cave or carrying them out. I don't know where they would be carrying them to. What market there is for Slowpoke Tails. Apparently it's a very exclusive market that uh, has fat dudes on Route 32 trying to sell us Slowpoke Tails at outrageous prices. 
So I guess that's the kind of market that has slow poke tail in the uh, vicinity, but I'm not one to get them. No. And it's funny because, uh, actually I don't believe it was uh, until very recently that I realized that the back, that red part, that pinkish part, was not a slow poke tail and rather the girl's head, part of her hair. But I always thought that uh, that was the slow poke tail draped over their back. And I think I recognized it later on in the game when I saw another female rocket grunt sprite and it was exactly the same and then I was like, wait a second, you're still carrying that slowpoke's tail with you? Jeez, are you going to eat it or just let it go bad? So that is her hair that is coming out of her hat that she's not wearing when you get into battle with her. At least I think that's a hat. It must be a hat. Like a burglar's cap. Quit taking slowpoke tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's reputation would be ruined! Do you even know who I am? I'm Diogen Z, alright? And if you obeyed me, that would be good for your reputation. Let me tell you. Let me just tell you. In my other Pokemon games, I could wreck you like you wouldn't believe. In fact, I'm wrecking you now. What do I even have to say that for? You know, I just... I don't even need my EV trained Pokemon to take on the simplest of Team Rocket. I mean, come on now. Level 7 Rattata is here. What are you talking about here? With constricting wraps and stinging poison in your tackles of nothingness. You will be taken down by the wrap. Better watch it. It's a veggie wrap. It's good for you and it will kill you. <laughs> oh, figure that one out. Bet you can't. Well, I guess if you choked on, like, a, a carrot or something, that could kill you. But, uh, yeah, I don't know the likeliness of that happening. suppose it would be the dicer or slicer of the carrots who made your veggie wrap. But, uh, I don't think Ekans on a daily basis makes veggie wraps. Just, uh, more of the constricting kind. You know, the ones that, like, to choke you out. Ah, Zubat! Uh, so I tell you guys, I am going to get fat so, so fast. I've been making so many cookies, and, uh, oh, they're so delicious. <sighs> I have to remember that they're for the guests and to leave them in the cookie tins, but uh, I'll flash the cookies at the end of the episode so you can get an idea of what I've been making. I do very much love to cook and bake and all those kind of things. Self-sufficiency is the key to empowerment, and that includes being able to cook for yourself. Cook for yourself and question authority. <laughs> Little spin on Timothy Leary's saying there. A slowpoke with its tail cut off, huh? There's mail on it. What does this have to say? Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. I can only guess that is Kurt's Slowpoke. Or the family that lives with Kurt. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Okay, guys, now we will be taking on Rocket Executive Proton. Now, in the original games here, obviously you can still see he's only a grunt. But in the remakes, he was up to Executive. So, with his level boost and the current times that we're in, I figured, hey, let's get creative here and make Proton a border, even though he's not even in existence at this point in the game. So, hopefully you guys enjoy what you're seeing on the sides. Your peripheral vision is getting a treat, as well as your direct. I like to tantalize and satisfy my audience in every single way that I can. Audio, visually stunning. If I could do taste, I would. Send you some cookies through email. Oh my gosh, that'd be delicious. Although, if I sent them now, it wouldn't be the type of cookies you were looking for. So, let's tackle this mofo. Even though he's only got a level 14 coughing... I'm making more work than it is for myself by having uh, Poof out on the battlefield. Mr. Poof is still pretty weak and hasn't really made any significant impacts on my team yet. In fact, he's just been death, fo death fodder. So we are going to finish him off with Cyndaquil. Oh yeah, and by the way, I wanted to mention the music that you've been hearing, including this piece here, I thought I would give all the Rocket executives that uh, we face special music. This music that you're hearing in the background is from Polka Remix Studio. You can find him on YouTube. And if you yourself are a remixer of polka music, or even just a techno remix kind of person or something like that, 
and have mostly instrumental stuff, uh, send it my way. Let me know. Uh, send a PM and I'll let you know how to contact and send me things such as music files later on. But uh, if you're interested, I would be happy to use it in this walkthrough. You did okay today, but wait until next time. What makes you think there will be a next time, Mr. Proton? What, Cynical's evolving? No! He is not. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Make it double. That was one thing I wish they always would have brought back, especially since they only did it once in Pokemon Yellow, was Jesse and James. And it was funny, too, because I didn't know anything about Pokemon Yellow at the time, and uh, I did watch the anime at this point. I think I was watching the anime at this point. I don't even remember. I'm not sure. I think I got into it later than I got into the games. But uh, I always thought it would be really cool if they had Jesse and James come back. Like, they were the ones who reunited Team Rocket. They're trying to get Giovanni back. And Meowth is still trying to be the one on Giovanni's lap. Because that is his final dream. Or his ultimate dream. Okay, so those apricorns, apricorns, whatever you want to say, I'm a tomato, tomato. What you do with those is you bring them to Kurt, and he makes Pokeballs out of them. So now you understand the Kurt's balls on the sidebar there. I wasn't doing that for ha-has and phallic humor sort of things. It's actual good information that you should take a gander at if you want to know what apricorns make what. But now that Team Rocket is gone and the Slowpoke are free with what looked to be no tails. Oh no. Yawn? Question mark? We will take on the gym in the next episode. See you then.